All right, so let's see if you have the practical math skills to answer this simple question. So is $20 enough money to buy three items at $5.85 each plus four items at 33 cents each with 6% sales tax? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time. The question is, is $20 enough money to buy three items at $5.85 each plus four items at $0.33 cents each with 6% sales tax? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is yes, $20 is enough money to buy all these items and to pay for the sales tax. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. You'll be like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I got this right, but I just took a wild guess. Uh, you know, of course, the answer is either going to be yes or no, right? So either $20 is going to be enough money to buy all this stuff or it is not. But uh, what we want to do here is not take a wild guess, right? We want to do the math and to make sure that indeed $20 is enough money to buy all these things and to pay for the sales tax. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into how to do this problem. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we have $20 and we want to purchase three items at this cost, four items at this cost, and then we need to account for this sales tax. So Probably most of you could be like, oh, yeah, three items at this cost. Uh, that total right here, the subtotal would be three times $5.85. Right here, four items times 33 cents. We could just calculate how much this is going to be. Then we need to think about this sales tax, right? So uh, what we need to do here is obviously we're going to have to calculate the cost, right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. And again, just pretty much as I uh, indicated, we have three items at $5.85 each. So the cost of that is going to be three times 585. All right, so we're gonna kind of just set this up. And this is why you definitely want to use a calculator. No need to kind of torture yourself by doing hand calculations. But if you wanna do that, that's fine as well. Okay, how about four items at 33 cents each? Well, this might be a bit confusing for some of you, but we're gonna go four times 0.33. So when we're dealing with uh, cents, okay, from a mathematical standpoint, the value of cents will be a decimal, um, a decimal. Okay, so in other words, when we're talking about anything less than a dollar, you're going to use a decimal. So uh, a quarter, for example, 25 cents is equal to the decimal 0.25. So here it's not going to be four times uh, 33. That would be 33 dollars. 33 cents is 0.33. Okay, so again, uh, this is a perfect. Um, problem to use our calculator. And of course, we'll get to these actual calculations in a second. But let's talk about the sales tax. So what do we do there? Well, we have to calculate 6% of the total. So we're going to have to find the total cost here, right? So this is how much you want to purchase. You go up to the cashier and the cashier is no problem. I'll give you, uh, uh, you know, uh, you could buy these items, but also we have to charge you sales tax. Yes, indeed, that's something that you may not want to purchase, but you get to get it anyways, right? We all have to pay tax. So 6% of the total, all right, is going to be equivalent to 0 0.06. All right? So this is basic uh, um, kind of percent concepts here. So to find a percent of a number, okay, changes the percent to a decimal. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. So what we do to change a percent to a decimal, just a quick review here, 6% as a decimal is equal to 0 0.06. So if we go from here to here, uh, what we need to do is simply divide by 100 or move the decimal point uh, two places to the left, which is effectively the same thing as dividing by 100. So when you divide by 100, the decimal point gets scooted over two places to the left. So we want to um, we want to change our percent to a decimal and then multiply that decimal by the total. Okay, so 0 0.06 times the total. Now, of course, we don't have that total yet. We're going to have to get these uh, subtotals, add them up, 
and then we'll calculate the sales tax, and then we're going to have to calculate everything together, and then we'll see if we have enough money to handle this transaction. So let's go ahead and take the next step here, which, of course, is to just do these quick transactions uh, or uh, these quick calculations. So 3 times 585, you know, of course, you please use your calculator. No need to do this by hand. So 3 times 585 is $17.55 or $17.55. And four times 33 cents is four times 0.33, which is a dollar 32. Okay, so now we're going to add these up to get our total cost. All right, so that, well, this is our total cost without the tax. So if there was zero tax, right, all you'd have to pay is $18.87. But we have to account for that lovely thing called sales tax, which is going to be 6% of the total. And of course, we have the total here, 1887. So let's go ahead and calculate that now. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, this uh, problem that we're doing involves a lot of basic math skills. So if you want to uh, learn basic math from me, check out uh, these courses in the description. So I would check out my math foundations, a course, my pre-algebra course, or maybe even my math skills rebuilder course. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem. Okay, so here is our calculation. So we have three items at $5.85, $5.85. Uh, so that cost is $17.55 for those three items. Then we have four items at $0.33, cents, so that's going to be four times 0.33. That's $1.32. So our subtotal here is $18.87. But of course, we have to uh, calculate the tax, which is going to be 6% of this, okay, $18.87. So we have 0.06 times 1887. And I'm kind of rounding off here. So I want to call it, I'm going to call it a dollar and 13 cents. Okay, so if you said no, you don't have enough money. Well, you kind of uh, probably maybe, um, you know, uh, you know, round it up a bit here. But this is a pretty safe calculation, $1.13. So that is our sales tax. OK, so what do we owe, uh, you know, the cashier? Well, we owe them this plus the tax. So let's go ahead and, and add this up and see if $20 will cover it. All right, so our total cost is going to be the cost of the items plus the tax. So the items were $18.87. The tax is $1.13. And when you add those up, it comes out to be $20. So yes, indeed, we are so happy. We have enough money to buy all these items and to pay for the sales tax. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.